On today's episode, one of my favorite action pistols, the Crossman 357, gets a front end makeover to become the Crossman Vigilante. Let's go over some specs and details, then get it on the test bench. Since the Vigilante shoots pellets and BBs, we're going to get the Crony data for both. Using 10.5 grain Crossman Premier pellets, the average velocity was 409 feet per second with an extreme spread of 64 feet per second and a standard deviation of 21.18 FPS. With 5.1 grain Crossman Copperhead BBs, the average velocity was 455 FPS, an extreme spread of 45 feet per second, and a standard deviation of 16.6 .6 FPS. I mounted a red dot sight on the Vigilante's top rail and began the accuracy testing using the 10.5 grain Crossman Premiers. Bag rested at 16 feet, the accuracy was excellent, with shot after shot smacking the target wherever the red dot was pointed. I placed my digital camera behind the red dot sight and managed to get a good image, which clearly demonstrates the Vigilante's accuracy. Next up were the Crossman Copperheads. Steel BBs typically spin when shot from rifled barrels, causing the occasional flyer, yet I was surprised with respectable groups from the Vigilante. The mechanics of the metal trigger and hammer is outstanding for the gun's price range and the action indexes with flawless precision. The double action pull weight is on the heavy side according to my trigger gauge, but strangely it doesn't feel like 6 pounds 5 ounces, most likely because you're just having too much fun shooting the vigilante. The single action pull weight in my test was 3 pounds 5 ounces. The loudness of the Vigilante's report measured in at 87.5 decibels in my test, with the sound pressure meter about 3 feet from the gun. I would consider this to be backyard friendly, however please practice safe gun handling and discretion, the Vigilante does look like a firearm from a distance. In the shots per CO2 cartridge test, the Vigilante fired an average of 30 good rounds before the pellets began to drop off the bullseye. At higher temperatures, you may be able to squeeze out about another 10 shots. Folks, the Crossman Vigilante has very good accuracy at 16 feet with both pellets and BBs. The balance and build quality also gets high marks with just the right combination of metal and plastic parts. Thanks to the accessory rails, it's much easier than previous models to attach optics. 
the performance of the action and trigger may be unmatched in its price range. The Vigilante was so enjoyable to shoot, I honestly can't think of any detail to nitpick. This gun is rootin' tootin' fun for everyone, from beginners to hardcore enthusiasts. Don't miss out on this one, folks. For Air Gun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun. Please remember, folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious harm if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at another person. Parents, if you teach your children to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment.